In this ukulele video, I'm gonna review the Romero's Creation Tiny Tenor Six String Galele, and this is the Daniel Ho model. Hi, I'm Terry Carter. Welcome to You Like the Pros. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on that bell notification. That way you stay up to date with all the lessons, tutorials, and reviews that I do right here. And also, if you haven't done so already, check out Instagram and follow me there. That's at You Like the Pros. So I'm really excited because one of my members at Ukulele Pros told me when I was at NAMM to go check out the uh, brand new Tiny Tenor Six String Galele, Get the Lele, Guitar Lele. Yeah, as you know, I call it Guitar Lele um, from Pepe Romero Jr. And so I know Pepe, and so when I went there, I was really excited because not only was Pepe there, but also Daniel Ho was there as well. And I finally got to see and play a little bit of this instrument. Now, if you've been to NAMM, you know it's really hard to hear anything. It's really noisy. So, so it felt and sounded great there, but I actually just went up to Pepe's studio yesterday and I picked this one up and I'm gonna do a full review on it. I'm gonna give you all the dimensions, all the information you need to know, and I'm also gonna do some playing on it as well. Why don't we actually start with that? I'm just gonna do a little uh, finger picking Thing first and then we'll talk about all the dimensions what this thing's made of and all the all those details that you're looking for So first of all, it feels really great to play, and as you can tell, it actually sounds amazing as well. And we'll talk about that, but first let's just dive into this thing. So first of all, you notice that it has the tiny tenor body, which I think is a really unique and cool shape for a ukulele, a guitar, a guitar lele. And so that I really, I mean, just right off the bat, you notice that. It does have a spruce top, and this is a nice glossy finish as well that's on it. Then you have mahogany here on the sides and you have mahogany on the back as well. You also have a mahogany neck. And then these are really cool. I actually haven't seen these tuners before. They're really nice. They're almost like the pressure tuners that you see on a lot of uh, ukuleles. But these are the uh, gota, I think that's how you pronounce it, tuners. and they're. Trust me, they're really nice tuners. Then you have the cool headstock design, and of course, Daniel Ho, six-time Grammy winning Daniel Ho signature here. Then you have the fretboard. Now this is a radius fretboard, and, and I just learned this from Pepe. So it's a 20-foot radius fretboard, which seems like, how can that be, 20 foot? So what that means, a couple of things. So radius just simply means that the fretboard's probably hard to tell, but it has a slight angle to it. And the way they get to 20 foot is like, just imagine a really big circle. And from the center to the outer point of the circle is 20 feet. And so then if you put the neck up to that circle, that's, that's the curve of it, okay? So, um, so 20 foot is not really that much of it, just has a slight, a slight, kind of uh, angle to it. Feels really great. Um, ebony fretboard, also the ebony bridge here, and then you have abalone inlay here on the fretboard, and then also the really nice rosette of the abalone. Now, the size of this thing. So this is considered a tenor, and the way we get that is because of the length, so from the nut the inside of the nut to the inside of the bridge, that's 17 inches. And that's really common for most tenor ukuleles or tenor size guitar ukuleles as well. So it's 17 inch. Now, what's unique about this is that the body is actually, it's kind of more of a size of a concert. It's actually not that long, because if you notice, there's not a lot of space between the bridge and the back here. but. What really makes it sound big is that the size of it. So the width here is three inches, and then it has a slight taper 
And as you move up here, it's right about here, it's about two and three quarters inches. Okay, so, so I think that's why even though the body is more like a concert, the, the width of it is more like a tenor. And that's why you get this really big sound of this thing. Um, the other thing that Pepe was telling me is that they actually move the sound hole up here a little bit, which is nice because typically when you're holding this thing, you're gonna strum right around here anyways. And so on most ukuleles, that sound hole is back here a little bit more, but having it right here means you're strumming almost right over the sound hole, which is cool because that's where you're gonna get a really nice, full and warm sound. Right, and, and that's what you notice here. All right, so that's, that's yeah, sounds great. A lot of great overtones, really big sounding um, as well. So, all right, so a couple other things that I know about this particular instrument. And Pepe pointed this out. First of all, when you're holding it, and notice I don't have a strap on this one. Also, I have not plugged in, so everything you're hearing is just from a mic. But your arm just naturally sits right there, just like a tenor, a tenor ukulele would. So your arm actually sits really nicely right there okay and so uh yeah so that sound hole moved up the other thing here let's let's do a few more dimensions of this for those people that like that kind of information so the space here between the nut and the first fret that's seven eighth of an inch and that's actually what i measured on on like my koaloha one is exactly the same thing as well the neck here or the width of the neck here is two inches okay for those that want to know that um we got 16 frets 16, and then we actually have one other fret here, 17, but you can only really hit the first string <laughs> there anyway. And that's really what else you need to play when you're that high. Actually, you can hit the, the sixth string as well. The other thing with every single one of these is Pepe sets it up himself. And so I was there, he set it up personally for me for this particular review. So that's really cool because you know that it's coming from a great luthier and someone that knows what he's doing um, with the set. All right, so let me play. I'm gonna do a little strumming here so you can hear a little bit more. Here's what I notice playing it. That the neck itself, and it's probably hard to see, but the neck itself, it feels more like a classical guitar neck. Okay, so it's not as big as a classical guitar neck, but it has that feeling of one. Um, and that makes sense, because Pepe makes really great custom classical guitars. So that's what I notice from it as well. The sound is big, big sound, Lots of overtones, lots of color. Lots of sustain in it. And so I think that has to do with a few things. One, the spruce top, that really helps brighten it up as well. And then also the big sound. I think because of how, the, how wide this thing is, it just creates a really great. sound as well. All right, so I'm just going to play a little bit more because <laughs> that's why we're here also to hear this thing. So why don't we do a little Spanish thing? Notice that's the stand as well, so it sounds really great for Spanish style stuff. I didn't mention, this one is tuned A to A. So like a standard guitar, at least in my opinion. A, E, C, G, D, and A again. Also, this happens to have the Pepe Romero Jr. signature Gillelli strings on it as well, which are really cool, um, made by Labella, and yeah, they're great strings. Anyway, I'm really excited about this instrument. It's new on the market. I think it's a fresh sounding and also looking uh, guitar lately. 
I really like the way it feels. It's really easy to hold even without a strap. The size of it's nice. It comes with a really nice padded gig bag as well. Actually, here it is right here. Nice Romero Creations uh, gig bag as well. And that's, it's actually nice and padded. And uh, yeah, I mean, with that, the instrument, the setup by Pepe, it's really a great instrument. So anyway, I'll put a link below where you can get one of these. You can actually get one of these in the You Like The Pro store. I'm actually really excited about that as well. And uh, you won't be disappointed in this instrument. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.